Hey everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to the Rush Faster YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing a deep dive into a creative exploration of sustainable fabrics brought to us by Evergoods. Meet the Undyed Collection, a unique take on three iconic Evergoods products, the Mountain Hip Pack 3.5 liter, the Civic Access Pouch 2 liter, and the Civic Access Pouch 1 liter. The Evergoods team have challenged themselves to develop their products in the most eco-friendly way possible and look pretty cool too. Let's check it out. Evergoods are not new to the world of sustainable fabrics. Over the past year, they've been transitioning their products to be made using solution dyed fabric. I'll explain it briefly, but co-founder Kevin D has made a technical video talking about solution dyed fabric, and I'll link it down below. With traditional dyeing, the dye gets applied to the fabric after it's been woven or formed. This is how most manufacturers dye their fabrics, as it's the most cost-effective way to do it, but there are usually a lot of cons. First, it wastes a ton of water and energy to have these fabrics dyed. The fabric goes through the dyeing process and then needs to be washed and dried completely before it can be used for soft goods. When you need a ton of fabric dyed, this adds up and can do quite a bit of harm to the environment. Another thing that can happen is the dye can bleed in the wash or fade in color. Cheap dye or over dyeing can lead to inconsistencies with color and can often make your product feel very low quality. It's not great for your customers. This is where solution dyeing comes to play. It cuts the dyeing process in half by first adding the color to the raw material Material before it's turned into fibers and fabric. Doing it this way makes the color of the fabric more vibrant and resistant to fading. Now it's said that solution dyeing cuts water consumption up to 80% and lowers energy consumption significantly. This means producing a more sustainable product and overall leaving a positive footprint on the environment. Now the undyed collection goes the extra mile eliminating dyes entirely which creates this raw almost white fabric that they've used for this collection. Visually it looks awesome. It's a unique look that you don't see very often and it gives off NASA spacesuits vibes. They've been able to source the raw material and fabric used for this collection except for the zipper sliders. Now before you comment saying that the zipper sliders are black, co-founder Kevin D has already addressed this in a blog post. He said, they simply would not supply us with unfinished sliders for this project over concerns about quality and long-term performance. So to not sell you a product that might break or have some performance issues, we get high quality but black zipper sliders. Not a big deal. With all that being said, let's dive deeper into the collection starting with the Mountain Hip Pack 3.5 liter. This is meant to be an around the waist hip pack that is great for any outdoor adventures or daily commutes. It measures 16 inches in length, 4.5 inches in width, and has a depth of 6.75 inches. It weighs 1.1 pounds and comes with a lifetime warranty. The exterior is made out of a 420D nylon. It has that lightweight feel, but still comes with the durability and water resistance that is common in thicker fabrics. I think this is a sweet spot for sling fabrics as it's not too thick adding unnecessary weight, but not too light where you lose structure in the bag. On the front is their signature Velcro logo that you can customize with your own patches. I've made my own red reflective patch using Velcro strips, but Evergoods also sells their own high-vis patches on their website if you fancy that. They even sell a sick glow-in-the-dark patch to make it easier to find your pack in the dark. The sides of the bag include compression straps to cinch down your load and prevent your items from moving around. In between the compression straps, they've added a quick stuff sleeve on the exterior for larger items like a light jacket or a wet umbrella. Just keep in mind that it will take up a bit of your interior space if you end up using it. Flipping to the back side, we have a pretty unique strap design. Instead of the normal single buckle found in most slings, Evergoods have added two buckles on either end of the bag. This makes tightening the strap and unbuckling very seamless, and by extending the back panel behind the buckles, it keeps the hip pack feeling comfortable against your waist. Swinging the bag from the front side to your back side is smooth like butter, and the buckles don't dig into your hips because of the extra padding. The design is also great to wear across the body, and with the dual buckles, you can wear the pack on either shoulder. For the most comfort, they recommend to leave all the slack on the buckle that's on your shoulder and use the other buckle to fully tighten the strap to your preferred length. Another well-designed element to this pack is with the strap collectors. They've sewn an elastic loop to the end of the strap so you can easily roll the extra strap and loop the elastic over it to prevent annoying dangles. It's such a small detail but it keeps the strap clean and out of the way. Moving over to the back panel, they've designed it from the ground up. Instead of the traditional foam, they've added a tall 3D spacer mesh fabric to keep the panel breathable against your waist. It compresses and expands a lot so airflow can easily pass through it. When it's tight against your waist or across your body, it almost feels like someone's giving you a nice hug. It stays secure, which is key when you're out and about. Now let's get into the compartments. The back panel compartment is a single YKK 8 zipper, and the main compartment has dual YKK 10 zippers, making it the bag accessible from both sides. The zippers also have a DWR coating so it can repel water and keep your gear dry. Opening the back panel,
panel, we have a nice admin panel layout. The lining is made out of a raw 210D nylon, and it's a great pocket for flatter items like a wallet or a phone. Because it's closest to your back, the items in here will stay the most secure from unwanted hands and heavy movement. It also comes with a sewn and carabiner to easily find your keys. I don't find it too uncomfortable putting larger items in this back pocket. The 3D spacer mesh does a good job absorbing most of those bumps, so you won't feel it against your waist. Moving to the main compartment, the top flap opening has some dimension to it, so larger items like my headphones case can come in and out with no problem. Dual zippers are great here because you can open the bag from both the right side or the left side. Inside I've packed the Soundpeats Wing 2 earbuds, a portable battery bank with the Nomad Universal cable, a pack of tissues, some moment lenses, my sunglasses case, and a bottle of sanitizer. All you will find on the inside is a security zipper pocket that's flat against the back panel. This is a great pocket to put any super small items like cash and coins and be able to easily get to them. Like most of their products, Evergoods try to make their layout as simple as possible to cater to a variety of loadouts. So depending on your situation, you can easily tell if your loadout will fit in this pack or not. Now let's do our Rush Faster beer test. I was able to easily fit four cans of beer in here with a ton of room to spare. And this is what the bag looks like on the body. I'd say for a hip pack, it's definitely on the larger side. For my frame, it takes up my whole waist and chest. So if you are a bit smaller, I'd probably check out their Civic Access Sling 2 liter. The mountain hip pack might feel a bit awkward if the bag needs to be wrapped past your hips to the backside. If all I need to carry is a few pocket items, I probably wouldn't reach for this pack. I think the mountain hip pack is a great middle ground between a small sling and a backpack. I personally love the functionality hip packs have over backpacks. I'm able to easily access my items without having to take anything off and everything is right in front of me which is great. It also lets me change up my carrying mode if I'm wearing it for a long time and need to give my shoulders or waist a break. In terms of looks, I dig it. I'm in a very monochromatic fashion style at the moment so this bag can easily fit in most of my outfits. Luckily they have that velcro pouch feature so you can add a bit of personality to this all white pack and truly make it your own. Now let's talk about the Civic Access Pouch 2 liter. This is not your run of the mill pouch. It's like the Swiss Army knife of storage solutions so it can be a tech pouch, a toiletry kit, or even a med kit, whatever you want it to be. Coming in at a 2 liter capacity, it measures in at 9 inches in length, 5.75 inches in height, has 3.5 inches of depth, and comes in at 10 ounces. On the outside, you'll find two flat exterior pockets, perfect for items that you want quick access to while you have the pouch to the side. Handles are found on the top and bottom of the pouch, making it easy to grab and take out of any bag. If you want to add a personal touch, they have their Velcro logo patch on the bottom right. Now let's get technical. The exterior is crafted from a padded 420D nylon. It gives the exterior some structure and protects your precious gear from any impact. There are two zipper openings on this pouch and both use YKK 8 zippers. Here's where things get really cool. The main zipper opening has a unique diagonal opening with a hinge in the middle of the bag. This means you can unzip it and the top flap sits perfectly on the ground next to the other half. It is awesome for any desk or bathroom sink. You have complete visibility of your gear and can access the pouch like it's a shelf. Inside you'll find a mesh zipper divider keeping your gear separate from the main compartment. There's a top zipper on the exterior of the pouch for quick access even when the pouch is fully closed. If you want to put keys in this pouch, they've sewn a key leash in there as well to easily find. The interior lining is made out of a water-resistant 210D high tenacity nylon with a polyurethane coating. This means liquid spills can be easily wiped away with no mess. In the main compartment, they've added pockets along the walls to hold your small items. No need to dig around for your earbuds or your charger. Each item has its own little home. They've sewn in a smart zipper security pouch that doubles as a divider. You can easily sandwich it between your gear or put it to one side for more space. This pocket is great to stash your valuables, whether it's cash or a wallet. And this is the Rush Faster beer test. I was able to fit three cans in here. I love the versatility of the Civic Access Pouch 2 liter. It can be whatever you want it to be and does a great job organizing and keeping your gear safe. The little brother of the 2 liter is the Civic Access Pouch 1 liter. Made with the same materials found in the 2 liter pouch, this was made if you don't have much to carry or want a dedicated pouch for a single specific loadout. This pouch measures 10 inches in length, 5.75 inches in height, just 0.75 inches in thickness, and weighs in at a mere 7 ounces. Again, they They've added a Velcro Evergoods logo on the front, letting you customize it with patches. Flipping it over, you'll find a grab handle and two more loops, which are great to clip on a carabiner or your favorite keychain. You can also thread your hand through it to hold it like a clutch. Now let's look at the magic behind the flap. It closes using magnets, but not your usual big, 
bulky heavy magnets. Evergoods went the extra mile and used smaller magnets stacked side by side. This gives the magnet some flexibility which has its advantages. When it's fully packed, it closes with no issues. There doesn't need to be full contact and the pouch molds to the shape of your gear. Pretty smart, right? Opening the flap, you'll be greeted with two mesh zipper pockets. The mesh lets you see exactly where your items are, so no more guessing which pocket your items are in. The zippers are strategically sewn opposite each other, so there are no annoying zipper clanks when using the pouch. Who thinks of that? Evergoods does, I guess. Each mesh pocket has an internal divider too. The left side is a spacious single pocket, perfect for larger items. And on the right side, they've added another divider, helping you keep those smaller items neat and tidy. The divider is an opaque piece of fabric, so you can hide personal items behind it. And if that's not enough, they've even added a pen loop tucked in the crease of the pouch, because who doesn't need a pen handy these days? Now let's do the Rush Faster beer test. I was able to fit one can of beer in this pouch and be able to close it successfully. So there you have it, the Evergoods Undyed Collection featuring the Mountain Hip Pack 3.5 liter, the Civic Access Pouch 2 liter, and the Civic Access Pouch 1 liter. As a design choice, I love how they look. If you can keep them clean, they give off the impression of care, quality, and cleanliness. But if you're the type to be rough with your gear, this might not be the color for you. What do you think of the collection? Would you rock it? Let me know down below. I would love to do a further test really putting this fabric through the ringer, so if you want to see that, like this video. By choosing this collection, you are not only getting well-designed products, but you're also standing behind the testament of sustainability. The more companies that are conscious about reducing their carbon footprint, the better. And Evergoods have shown that with their line of products. I'm always looking for gear that I can feel proud carrying, knowing that it's designed with the environment in mind. My name is Zach from Rush Faster, and thank you for watching. And remember, small choices today will make a big difference in our world's future. See you next time.